Hello, thank you for joining me. Now, you may have noticed on the title of this um, video today, I said, would you like a free reading? I am offering a free reading for somebody. Um, reason being, I think I mentioned a couple of days ago, I got these lovely new Oracle cards. Um, but I, I just thought it'd be really nice to offer the first reading with them for free. So um, it's going to be a 15 minute reading. So if you would like to do that, if you'd like to put your name forward to that for that, then um, just wait to the end and I'll explain what I need to what you need to do. But for now, we're going to have a two card reading with these cards. So you'll get to see them and see if you like them, I guess. <laughs> right. What we got? Oh, OK. So they're all just um, names. OK, so we've got service. And we've got vanity. Um, yeah, they're all kind of emotions and, and things that we go through as part of our human experience, really. This this picture here, we've got um, somebody very caring sitting next to an old lady. And to me, that looks like she's drifting off to spirit and the loved ones are there on the, on the left there, um, waiting to take her off to the spirit world. OK, that's that's a um, it's a sad image, but, you know, it's the kindest thing you can do to sit there with somebody, isn't it? While they pass over um, it makes you feel very humble, but also it makes you realise the gift of life, I think. So I feel that for this card, our message is about the gift that we have um, in life itself, really. Um, this lady in the bed is an old lady, but you know, not sadly, not everybody gets to old age, do they? Um, some people pass way before their time. Um, and I was talking to a, um, a lady that I, um, that I know through mediumship, and, and quite a couple of her friends have passed away, and they were sort of in their fifties, and just really does. It's a massive wake up call that you only get one life, and and although this is about service and helping others, it's about also allowing people to help you and um, all be serve, of service to each other, helping each other through this um, muddled old world that we live in. Now um, I'm getting a, a real um, grounded energy with that. That if you kind of understand that life is a gift, and you've been given it. Um, for an undisclosed amount of time, because we don't know, do we? <laughs> um, you know, I, I feel that's the message, that your life is a gift. Um, help others, let them help you. And, you know, it, it, it kind of makes, yeah, makes the world a better place, a kinder place. Now, that's very different to our vanity, isn't it? This guy, <laughs> this old guy here, Look at me, and they're all there with their drinks. We've got high-rise buildings. So that, to me, is looking like, you know, I'm thinking of Canary Wolf in London when I look at that. Um, you know, all the high-rise, where our financial centre is in London. Um, and sometimes I go up there for, you know, just... I don't go up to London very often, but I do feel it's, it's a place where money is just so obvious. Money is the driving force behind that little tiny part of London and, you know, other parts as well, but so a little bit more in the banking industry. And I'm not <coughs> judging, excuse me, judging or, you know, discrediting anyone in the banking industry. Um, but it's that idea that sometimes you can kind of lose sight of what's important. These people are really glamorous. You know, they're... Um, I feel like they're worshipping this person and this person is almost um, not really, I don't say a bad person, I just feel like their eyes are in the wrong direction um, because he's got like a cloud round him and I feel like that's the uh, message of like smoke and mirrors. Sometimes people can appear to look really great and you know oh wow they're, they're living the best life but it's all smoke smoke and mirrors so i do feel that there's there's an idea of being superficial and and enjoying superficial things in our life that we perhaps need to sort of tap into there oh not that one as opposed to this one is is very connected to I feel that everybody in this picture is connected to each other so we've got the the lady here the, the person that's possibly a parent, grandparent, and these people, I feel like even though their spirit 
in that picture, everybody's connected and everybody's really feeling each other's energy. I don't see that there. I feel that this is a clouded energy. Judgment is clouded. Um, everybody's energy is blocked. Um, and, you know, that could be because um, they're, they're all having a glass of wine. Sometimes, um, you say, as, as, a, as somebody sort of uh, dealing with intuitive messages, I would never do that and <laughs> have a glass of wine first. That's like the worst thing you could do. But um, so it's a really tale of two ways that we can live our lives, I guess. It's a, it's a when, it tap, when I tap this into the messages that we had yesterday and the day before, I feel like we're being encouraged to tap into our uniqueness and what really drives us and what we love about our lives. Um, and I think that brings us a, a better connection than when we're living a pretty superficial life. Um, so I feel a connection here, whereas here I feel like, um, the, yeah, our true self could be blocked a little bit if we follow the kind of vanity path as opposed to the service path. So that is quite an interesting message on the day before the lunar eclipse, because the lunar eclipse and any full moon really, but this one's got quite an intense energy. One of the wonderful things about full moons is letting, um, letting stuff go. So maybe have a think about all aspects of your life and which you're connected to and what, which you feel like don't really serve you. Um, and hopefully that will help. So how do you sign up for a free reading if you would indeed like one? Well, all I would like you to do, please, if you can, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, if you are able to drop the link of this channel or the app name um, in your Facebook or Instagram or um, just letting people know that I'm here because it would be lovely to generate a few more subscribers. I'm doing really well organically, but I feel like I'm going to ask for help now and, and ask you guys to perhaps recommend me if you feel that um, friends and family would benefit from these daily messages. And then once you've done that, if you could just put a little comment in the uh, in the comments on underneath this video and just let me know that you've done it and then I will pick a name on probably Saturday um, of who gets the reading and we, and we can sort of contact each other from there. So I hope that makes sense. Just please just promote this YouTube channel in whichever way you can. Let me know how you've done it um, in the comments. And yeah, on Saturday, I will let one of you know that you are getting a free reading with these cards. So um, I look forward to meeting one of you in person, but I hope that you all can come back tomorrow for a spirit animal reading. Um, and I'll see you then. Have a lovely day. Bye.